if you just started playing Dead by Daylight, congratulations, you found the right video. But anyways, what's up everyone, it's Uncle Stambana here and I'm going to explain what's going on here. So I had a comment in one of my old videos called Best Hailbilly Build for Beginners, where they said two of those perks can't be used by beginners since they are behind a paywall. This actually inspired me to create a new Billy build, but this time, you don't have to pay for a single chapter to get these perks. This entire perk build uses only three perks that you can find leveling up any killer you want, and one which is a teachable from Trapper, the first killer ever brought from this game since day one. And if you guys know me very well, you can guess what that perk is. So let's start with the global perks. The first perk is Bitter Murmur, which does what it says. Each time a generator is completed, the auras of all survivors within 16 meters of the generator are revealed to you for 5 seconds. And once the last generator is completed, the auras of all survivors are revealed to you for 5, 7, or 10 seconds depending on what level of the perk you have. The next is Deerstalker which will show auras of survivors that are slugged. This can be very helpful since Billy can quickly down two survivors in a small amount of time with his chainsaw, but can help you find where the slug survivor is located if you lose them. The third perk is Whispers, and if you are new to Killer, I highly recommend using this perk on every single Killer you play, because it notifies you if a survivor is within a 32 meter radius by lighting up in your perk UI. And if you're farther away from a survivor, or if a survivor gets sacrificed close to you, then the perk dims away. However, only use Whispers 3. If you have Whispers 1 or 2, the radius is bigger than 32 meters, which will make it very hard to find a single survivor. And the last one is, drumroll please. Agitation. To get this perk, you must prestige Trapper once to unlock this perk on all your other killers, and then you can level your Billy to get Agitation 3 on the Bloodweb. This perk increases your movement speed when you carry a survivor to a hook. Sounds pretty useless, but I personally think this is one of the strongest perks of all time because you never have to worry about a hook being far and it counters Sabo squads very well. And let's not forget the add-ons. There's a lot of great add-ons you can run, but for the purpose of this video to be beginners friendly, I'm going to use a green engraving which increases my chainsaw sprint speed and a junkyard air filter that increases the chainsaw overheat limit, making it hard for you to hit overheat. Alright, but now that we got our budget build working very well, I'm going to show you all the game I had from one of my past streams with running this. If you are new, make sure to like and subscribe, and also be sure to check out my Twitch in the description below. Anyways, let's get this budget Billy build working. Heading saws is easier when you have Shadowborn. It is cutty. It is definitely easy. The problem is Shadowborn changes your FOV. I can't recommend the perk that changes your FOV. Unless you, if you run the same build regularly and you just want to change one perk slot, um, then I would totally recommend Shadowborn. I'm telling you, like, that's the actual truth behind it. All right, though, but let's uh, try to do this build. Let's do this again. It's actually a little scary, though, because, like, I'm only using one single engraving, so I have to memorize uh, how to... Um, how to hold my charge time right and also we have whispers on so that means i get there's a survivor close by here by the way if anyone's ever new to playing killer i'm gonna tell you this one more time if you are ever new to playing killer whispers is you have to use that perk i feel like it's one of the greatest perks in the entire game because it will indicate if you're close to a survivor within 32 meters even if it's two survivors but it, it'll easily just tell you if you're close to somebody it's a very great perk that sounds good bella I am prepared for when you are ready for it very soon. I'm going to go for the person on the rock here because she's like running on the edge of the map. Dude, what is that Serena hair though? That hair kind of looks very, very awful. I wouldn't even use that myself. Is an S tier perk for beginners? I actually used to be addicted to Whispers when I first started playing uh, Killer. I think, uh, Mirka, are you in the chat right now? Because I think you witnessed my day, uh, my days when I, when I was a, um, a Whispers addict. You were literally there. I used to run Whispers all the time, and I had to learn how to stop using Whispers. Like, I literally had to just stop using Whispers because it was so big of a staple. Like, it was so good of a perk. And I still think Whispers is a great perk, but if you're a beginner, Whispers is like you have to use it. If you are not a beginner, then you should stop using Whispers because like, you basically don't even need it. But I'm telling you, it's probably the number one best perk to have in the entire game. Nothing can be said otherwise. Because it's an indicator that means you're close to somebody. Even if they're hiding. That means they're just like hiding within a 32 meter radius of you. 
You're getting odd 4Ks? Congratulations, Kelloholic. I can probably imagine myself doing that a little bit later, but that's going to take a while. Ooh, we got a bit of murmur. But she already knows I'm right here. What color person are banned? Um, Ghosty. Read. Read the thing. Um, the uh, Keller 1v1 rules. The Actually, the, the Survivor 1v1 rules. Read it. Oh, it's not on the FAQ. It's um. So if you click on the click on the one v one my survivor, and then get the link, or just type exclamation mark survivor one v one. I have uh, all the rules right there. For survivor, there's more freedom. Um, I don't. I forgot. It's like either no perks are allowed, or um one perks allowed. I think one perks allowed. I'm not really sure. I'll uh, put this one out. Well, that's an easy hit for me. But that's um ten second. That's ten second BT. I um I probably shouldn't even have chased them. I mean, I'm technically tunneling, though, let's be real. <laughs> yeah, and no, I'm really tunneling. I should go chase, uh, chase somebody else. It's going to be really late for me to hit a curve here, so... I have to go this direction, but it's too late because he has life. Okay. This is power helps you find survivors. I disagree. I, kill, I wouldn't say Doctor is a really good killer for beginners because people don't really know how to shock right with Doctor. The best killer for beginners is definitely uh, Wraith. Wraith is like a very simple killer. You, you can just sneak up on survivors when they least expect it. And if you want to like get the most value out of it, uh, what you need to do is um, just uncloak. Uncloak literally on a survivor when they don't know, when they don't see it coming. Especially against like bad survivors because they won't really see you coming when you're playing Wraith. It should be good. Trying to see what perks you can run against me. Yeah, it's um, it's not on the FAQ. It is on the Survivor 1v1. You have to click on the reward. Even if it, you don't have the points for it, you have to click on the reward. And then you also have to um, check the link. Or just type exclamation mark Survivor 1v1 in the chat. No life. Um, ah, too far away. You once had seven bananas in an hour. I once had 10 bananas in an hour. It's off that. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Hit a spaghetti. Bro, she actually tried a W game, but that was kind of smart. It was very, very smart because she tried to greed. But then again, I still had enough time to get her right there. It'd be nice to have whispers on. Oh, I don't even have to worry about whispers because this Claudette's kind of chilling right here. I'll let them uh, save and do other stuff. I'm going to go chase the Claudette. Oh, she's inside the spot right here. Oh, she just went right around me. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I am so dumb for doing that. I think she was the one with life. I, I forgot. There's one. Oh, no, it was the Leon had life. The Leon definitely had life. Let's do a couple of little weird ass movements. Uh, I'm going to take this. Dude, I thought she was going to W all the way towards the door there. That's the point I messed that one up. This cloud, it's actually going to juice me like crazy. I got to go for the gen. Yeah, because if I keep going for the cloud on the shack, it's already going to be bad. He does not have sprint first. Got that. That means if the cloud goes straight on the shack. Um, I mean, if she tries to go to the gen, that could be helpful. The only time I can get aura value is if they pop a gen. Like, that's where, like... Damn, I got outplayed. <laughs> Bro, they were prepared. But I'll just still kick it. Yeah, once they pop the gen right here, I should be able to find the survivor. As long as I'm close to the gen. Because if I'm not close to the gen, I won't see anything. Okay, there's like one little issue that I should warn you guys about with a bitter murmur. If... <laughs> Here's the thing. If you're very far away from the gen that was t that, that was uh, completed when bitter murmur activates, and they're like probably hiding on the gen... Bitter Murmur won't actually work. Like you won't even see the survivor at all. Like it, like Bitter Murmur will will trigger, but you can out kind of outplay uh, Bitter Murmur if you're like kind of hiding on the gen. It happens though. I'll do this first. I mean, like oh, she, she's actually far away. And she just ran all the way towards there. This Leon, if he hits the window, he gets life. That's gonna be bad for me. Yeah, because he actually just made proper movement there too. I'm gonna go for him though. The movement's kind of unexpected with these survivors because I'm like low key about to like mess this up. And I do want to actually play this game, right? Oh, no one's even touching the gen. I think we have Deer Stalker. I think I heard somebody close by to me. Or I'm not, maybe I'm just going crazy. Ooh, 
actually cyber my hook. This kind of means they want me to play main building. I, I don't want to play a main building chase, but I see two notifications. So there's two survivors here. I guess we're going to have to play main building. The main building of Grim Pantry is like probably one of the worst things at this entire map. Like, that's where shit's going to go south immediately. Oh, we still it. I hugged that a little too hard. If this gets bad, I might as well just go for M1s if I can. But I would rather just get... I mean, I actually... No, I, I can't risk getting stunned. I can't risk getting stunned. This is the main building we're talking about. Like, I can't do anything with that. Especially if I try to play M2 only. So that means if I get the choice to M1, I might as well just, like, let it out. But I, hey, I have not yet. I actually had my mic muted there. I was saying, like, I thought they'd be on the gen. Oh, he's just hiding right here. Oh. Somebody. Ooh, that's off the record. That was well played. Bro, the guy, like, literally hides there and just tries to use off the record that way. Kind of big brain the fuck out of me, I guess. I want to curve this spot, but, you know, that depends how he plays this out. Pasted. That was nice. They're trying to do the gen. Oh, the Claudette's here. Would be nice to get a grab here, though. Nope. Ah, uh, no. That was a dead hard. That one's got to be a dead hard. If I got a grab, that would have been a lot more faster for me. They played main building gen. That's actually not a problem for me. I mean, I wasn't going to play main building in the first place. Ooh. Taste it as well. Damn, I'm actually surprised I'm getting curves like this. Especially even without Shadowborn. See, I told you guys, I can actually play B Billy very well without Shadowborn. I mean, I wouldn't even say Shadowborn's my crutch. I'd say Agitation is definitely my crutch. Like, no joke. Like, I actually think Agitation is my literal crutch in the entire... Oh my god. I think it's like my literal crutch in the entire game. Well, if I started sawing there sooner, that would have been a nice plan. She makes it right through here. We're gonna wait this out a little bit for overheat. Down here. Oh, we got actually a late saw hit there too. I was gonna say that wasn't gonna work, but that little late saw, that post saw hit, just made it easier for me. And I guess to find this last survivor, we can use uh, whispers. It's gonna be good because I don't have um. Oh, we have better armor. It's even better. I can literally see what this last survivor is. I get a lot of time to do it. They're going to, like, hide. Fuck, that window kind of messed me up. They're going to hide, like, literally right in here. Actually? I thought there was going to be, like, a hatch offering. I was going to be prepared for that. <laughs> I assume they probably go for the door, though. Or they're just going to be high. Actually, no, they're, they're literally close by. I have whispers. I can probably stay in the... Yeah, I can stay in the Whispers range and then just find the Meg uh, right around here. This goes down here. Oh, she's just being on the outside. I should spawn right here would be very nice for her, though. But it looks like she is unlucky. Yeah, we can make this work. All right. That was actually really nice. We got actually a lot of value from the crypto, too. Mild you mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna get the hook right here. Myself. Unless agitation can help me out, please, please help me out. Oh, hey, I got it, I got it. Thank you. Yeah, no, I gotta tell you though, that was a really great game. I did not think I was gonna catch up with that one easily. I think some of those curves definitely helped me out for the most part. Even the like, the, I think the perk value too. Like all, like I got all the value from like all the perks. That's what I needed more importantly. And the little engravings kind of like helped me out with getting some of those curves. <laughs> I can tell they were like a, probably a little impressed with the, the curve flies in there too. That's very nice.